right now, number two. Second chance, you know? Just the new me. Knowing that you messed up and being able to prove to everybody again that that's not who you are. This is not only the second chance, but it's your last chance, and you can't mess that up at all. Sean Oakman version two is afraid to fail. Failing means blowing this second chance at life and football. It means heading back to North Philadelphia empty-handed. We didn't always have food in the fridge right at home. I literally came from the bottom, and we all grew up under this poverty line. Sean and his six siblings lived with their mother. She suffered from bipolar disorder, which led to alcoholism and drug abuse. She asked Sean's uncle, a 30-year military veteran, to take him in. It was either his way or the highway, and he was that, he was that type of man, and I needed that type of structure growing up. I was on him like a hammer, but he was good-spirited, a tiny little kid, uh, you know, just trying to find his way. Sean Oakman! That tiny little kid became a six-foot, nine-inch athlete, dominant on the court and the field. College coaches drooled. Sean Oakman from Penn Wood High School, signing his letter of intent to go to Penn State and play for Joe Paterno. That was the place I wanted to go. Penn State, Joe Paterno, Coach Larry Johnson, that was, that was the dream. Having all the, the drama that was going on with Penn State and having a new coach come in, I was dropped off with $200 in my pocket just by myself, and I didn't know how to conduct myself at that period of time. As a redshirt freshman, Sean spiraled into trouble. Off the field issues piled up capped off by a shoplifting incident at a campus store. I'm either gonna eat or go to bed hungry once again, and I chose to eat. Sean was charged with harassment, theft, and disorderly conduct. His Penn State football days were over. I was so mad at myself. I never wanted to go back to Philly. I never wanted to live in that poverty line. My calling is to help my family. The only thing that could possibly bring me to that light is this game. And for me to mess it up that bad, that I won't never get to that, that light and that prime that I know I could get to, that's heartbreaking. The day when Coach O'Brien told him that he was not going to be returning back to school, and I could hear him coming down the hallway crying into my office, it was a reality check for him. And sometimes you got to hit the bottom before you be successful. Before going to Ohio State, Coach Larry Johnson spent nearly two decades molding standout defensive players at Penn State. He recruited Sean and knew exactly what he left behind in Philly. He vowed to help him start over, even if it meant a drastic change of scenery. He called his best friend Brian Norwood, a former Penn State coach now at Baylor. And I called him and said, Brian, here's the situation. He can go to where he wants in the country. I want to go to Baylor University. Uh, to play for you guys and be around you because I know you'll continue to do what I believe in. A young man, sometimes being young and making mistakes, just needs a clean slate. It's a great opportunity to grow. And uh, by the grace of God, a lot of us are given that in life. And uh, it was great for him to be able to see it and sort of embrace it and, and move in it. Through this Penn State connection, Sean landed at Baylor and took the field in 2013. Sean this season, he's a leader on a revamped Baylor defense that tops the Big 12 in tackles for loss. Smothered by Sean Oakman. Sean Oakman version two is reinvented, refocused, and making the most of a second chance. He's a passionate player who plays full tilt, never snap, pretty violently. He's a freakish athlete without question. But, you know, as a man, he's a fun guy and he's fun to be around and I appreciate the energy that he brings to our football team on and off the field. I honestly think I do it for everybody that didn't have a second chance. Honestly.